Welcome back to Afterward Gaming. We are here in House of Da Vinci, and uh, we're back in, you know, the mausoleum or crypt area. Uh, before I start, I, I'm going to come clean. I have recorded part of this level before, but then the video got corrupted. I got basically to, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where I got to the point where I light the fireplace. <laughs> That's part of the puzzle. All right, but last time, just to catch you up, uh, we got in here and we took the sword from the uh, set of armor. And we got this box, All right? So let me just show you sort of how to get to the place, and then we'll pick up where where I left off. Uh, so here we go. We get to the box, and you can see this game actually has very good um, tells. Sometimes this this can be a keyhole. It's pretty self that that <laughs> that draws the attention. But you see there are scratch marks here, and there are scratch marks here, which tells you that these can move. All right? We see a hole, so something goes in there. And then we go here to these scratch marks, and you can tell, and this is metagaming, but you can tell that this area should slide out at some point. And in fact, it does. Okay, so we grab this. Right, the spring mechanism. You would think, because the last chapter taught us that almost anything can be manipulated in the inventory, but no, it's just a piece. And we go here, you can see more scratch marks that we just move out of the way and get this cross-shaped item. Okay, and then if we look at it in the inventory, because, again, previous chapter basically told us that we should look at everything. Right, this shape looks vaguely familiar. We can use it here to open up this little piece that comes out with a folding key. Now, a folding key suggests that we can unfold the key. So now it's an unfolded key. Uh, then we go back to the keyhole, because that's the only one we found thus far. And we can use the key, go ahead, and open up the lid. Now, we have a dog head, and if you remember, it's a wolf head, but it's a dog head. There is this, where we put it, right, because there's one missing. And you can see also scratch marks here to indicate that things move, but... It's also this snake puzzle. Now, I will admit readily, and with no hesitation, that I am terrible at this puzzle. <laughs> These style puzzles mess me up in a way that I, for some reason I just am incapable of solving them properly. I don't know why, right? But, I mean, it is just, it is what it is. So it will take me a little fiddling to get back to, to a fully, you know, a fully set solution here. So if this takes too long, I will... Um, I will basically fast forward, or, you know, I'll, I'll speed up the tape. Okay, let's just go ahead and do the following. Okay, just like that, just like this. Go ahead and do this then. Although technically, no, we need the re we need to reorder this so that that's one, that one's before. See, this is why I am terrible at these uh, these puzzles. Okay, okay. Same problem as before. Alright, 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 nope. <laughs> and let's just go ahead and do that. See if we can reorder this in some. Okay, this should be it, right? There we go. Now, next piece I think is. No, that can't be that one because it'll go off into the roof. Next piece is this one. Got to be. No, not this. Yeah, this one. Okay, goes like so. We just move it around to get it here. Okay, so the next after that will be this one. Uh, do, 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 do. It's got to be this one next. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. 
As I said, not my greatest, not my greatest strength, those particular puzzles. Now, we get this strange tool. Uh, and you can see on the bottom, it's kind of very oddly shaped, but we can extend these arms. Okay, metal tool with arms. And the shape is pretty reminiscent. Before we get to the, the wolf's head, shape is fairly reminiscent of this. Now, last time I said we needed, like, a punch or something to get into this chest. Uh, it turns out we need this tool. So now we open up this chest. And we get this item. Wooden base with a flint and steel. So base means something goes in there, and you can see there's a little plus. And we'll get to that in a second. There's also this mechanism. Which apparently is a missing part of the mechanism. Right? And that's it. So then we come back here. Uh, and let's deal with the inventory first. Now, there's not much to show exactly what this is, but shape-wise, this should fit, because you have this loop up here, which would go up at the top, and then you have this little shaft down here, right? And the shaft would fit here, and the loop would fit over this uh, dowel, basically. Okay, so that goes in there, and there is a piece that can rotate. And then we lock that in, and it becomes a spring-powered lighter. And if you think that has anything to do with the fireplace, you are 100% right. <laughs> in the meantime, we will put the wolf's head here, and you can see there are scratch marks so we can slide it. There is a mechanism here, but we don't have a piece uh, that goes in. This can slide up, and this can go up. And we get this piece. Strangely shaped object and strangely shaped objects with no actual description mean there's usually something to be moved So we can rotate this out And it becomes a brass cross Now we take that uh, There's also a cog here, but as you can see we can't pick it up quite yet So then it's a question of getting the fireplace lit We have this which requires sort of this cross shaped uh key of some kind to basically open. There is a latch, as you can see, but it doesn't work because the uh, fireplace is being blocked otherwise. And the only other part of this setup that we can look at is the painting. I will admit right now it took me a little bit longer than I would like to, uh, than I would like to get this, but you can see these sort of holders are very elaborate. And after a while, my thought was, well, maybe something's going on with these, and indeed, you can move one of these. A little bit more weathered, so arguably that's the environmental storytelling, but... Behind here, in this little drawer, we had this piece called the part of a mechanism. And as you can see, the shape fits exactly... Uh, right here, behind the wolf's head. We gotta zoom in again. Okay, and then you press down. It plunges a little shaft up, probably has a tooth in the back, and we can pick up this cog. Okay, so we took the cog. Uh, we can put it here because it has that cross shape to it. And this functions sort of like a finger hole, which we can then use to wind it, take down these metal flowers, and now we are able to open the fireplace. Okay, so now we open the fireplace. Uh, let's see, this will... Yes, we need the the uh, tinder, or the um, <laughs> the kindling. Okay, so now the lighter goes in here, because of course it does, and we want to close the, la the uh, lid so it doesn't jump out. Alright, that's cool, but one isn't enough. We have to go, this game really follows the rule of threes, and there's three now. Okay, this room holds more secrets than I previously realized, because the previous rooms didn't give it away. Okay, so basically this is where I stopped. I did find back here, sort of as I did a, a, uh, as I did a pan around, there was a piece of paper here for one of the achievements. It was for a musical instrument whose name I can't remember offhand. Um, but that's it. That's basically where I stopped. Um, so then let's just pick up here, and this is pretty much 
blind all the way <laughs> from here until wherever we stop. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. So, in the fireplace, we have this thing, which we cannot turn. Can we see anything? Well, we will be able to turn it, right? Because you can clearly see they can line up a pattern, but we don't have the torque, and I guess something goes in there. We had a little drawer open up. Small wooden wheel. I think I know what that is. That looks like it goes into the chest of the armor, because it has room for that string. Uh, let's see, anything? Okay, let's not mess with that yet, but there is a contraption there. It powered something back here. No, no, not that. Back there. Okay, so... Three handles, right? Triangle, hexagon, square, and that will lift the cages. Okay, cool. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There is... Right, something goes in there, maybe goes out of the wall. This is the elevator, or the elevation machine crank probably to operate it so something comes out of the wall goes up the elevator or the machine and there's this trench that goes over here and oh, goes to the door and this is probably the okay so this is probably the last thing this is probably to open the door to lead us to the next room let's take a look at this table nothing there but there is a note Suspicious happenings surround me. Both the guards and my servants have fled, and I have chosen to escape rather than giving them what that which is most valuable. You must be vigilant as well. A strange performance of fate has begun, in which we both play our roles unwillingly. I deeply regret having made you a part of this. I was hoping that my security measures would suffice, but I was mistaken. Now there is no way back. Whoops. There is a way back. There we go. They will no longer allow you to escape. Still, a small flame of hope flickers. I hope you found what I concealed for you beneath the bust in the library. Otherwise, our attempts to reverse fate will not succeed. Which means, remember last time we did see that there's some time signature here. Now let's go ahead and draw in the shape. Yes. Okay. A flask. Some other device. Manipulate, manipulate, it fills up, and then it goes, okay. So, whatever it is, there's a flask that goes here. We, I guess, maybe we control the mixture. We fill up the flask, we put it here. What's here? A strange tank with a pump. Okay, so we pump the mixture in there or something. It looks like it's a piece missing. Drawers, drawers. Okay. What do we have? We have this doubt. Let's go to the suit of armor. Okay, suit of armor, suit of armor. No. Oh, I see. Okay, there's a hole in the center. That's fine. Wooden pulley. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, and then we turn on the mechanism. Okay, cool. So remember, there is something in his head up here. Uh, oh, well, that's nice. Oh, come here. There we go. So he was sitting on something, and there's a button. And I think, yep, lever with a triangular shaft. There we go. Oh, the cursor changed, so... That was a bit of a stumble on my part, but that's fine. Okay, so a key goes in there. All right, so there's still more to do with the suit of armor, as there almost always is with everything in this game. Okay, let's get the triangle going and see what we can do. Uh, okay. Can I move? Zoom in? Ooh, zoom in? Nothing written here? Time portal here? No. 
Okay, fine. Uh, if that's the case, then let's take a look at the side. No. No. Time portal? No. Written? Okay, fine. Internal mechanism. Alright, four. What happens if I crank... Oh! Okay, fine. One. So as you see, right, right here, these are moving into place and completing internally the track. Right, because now this can move up higher. Perfect. The so number six is this one right here. All right, let's just wind them all into place. Seven. Eight. Oh, so there's only that. Okay, so the numbers are one through eight. That's fine. Two. There's only a couple left here. Right, three, last one. Okay, cool. Turn this off. We should be able to move this all the way to the end now. Nice. Okay, so we go here. Oh, and there we go. This goes in the top because it has that cross shape on the bottom. Brass cylinder. And this, is this a latch? Yes, it is. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, there was something, it was like a wheel or something there, but what is... Oh, I see. Okay, so it's a little pin. And can we get this out now? Well, there we go. Got it out, albeit slightly in a weird way. Okay, let's see what we got. Not clear where this goes yet. And this has something on the bottom, and I can interact with... Oh, there we go. It's a lever with an octagonal shaft. Well, we know where that goes. Let's go ahead and prime the next cage. Move it up. Okay. Make sure there's nothing less... This feels too straightforward now. I'm like on edge for puzzles that are a little too straightforward, right? Where we just like move these into the right position and... Oh, I see. Okay. We do have to reline this so it's just a fleur-de-lis. And it's another tower. This time. Anything? Anything? No, and I can't zoom in any further or interact with it. Is there anything else? There is. 1 to 13. Numbers 1 to 13. Is there... Yes, there is. Alright, I'm assuming this means this one has to be 3. Maybe it means it has to be the sum to 13? I don't, I don't really know, Leonardo, what this arrow means, but okay. So if it's the sum to 13, and they have to be like... That's what I'm thinking, right? So from 1 to 13, you have to get from 1 to 13, and they also have to be in ascending order, and maybe they have to sum together, right? So you can kind of get that by... Yeah, you can do this. No? Okay. Hmm, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a sequence. Well, if it's Leonardo... Right? 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 5 is... Yeah, okay. That's how this works. It's Fibonacci, right? Okay, and this is the cupola. Part of a 
part of Da Vinci's model. Oh yeah, it is the piece that goes up here. Neat. And then a hexagonal metal object. And I wonder if that, right, the last time we saw this was a hexagon. No. There, oh, I see a hand. Okay, so we can unfold this into a star-shaped medallion, which is exactly what should fit on the back here. Can we just slide it down? We can. We get a wooden cylinder, but it has a hexagonal base, which means we should be able, uh, able to use this here. Oh, no. It's... There it is. I was going to say it swings open, but no, it springs open. Am I doing anything? Okay. Down. And it's a handle. It's a crank. Cool. All right, we take the crank, we put it here, and then let's crank this. Okay. Time? No. Writing? No. A, B, C, D, E. I see. And I wonder if one, two, three means start here and just continue this way, basically. And whoop, 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 whoop. In which case, let's just move these all around here. I'm not going to, well. Yes. Okay. This goes here. This goes here. A, B. We want the C here. Okay. Actually, hold on. I have a better idea. Right. And then F, E, D, and then C goes here. Perfect. Oh, and that goes here. Well, that's simple enough. Right. These look like regular thumb. Yeah, there we go. We thumb these open. Then we thumb these open. Okay, this is a part of that puzzle against the back wall. This is the flask for the table. Yes, yes. Oh, this moved, and there are scratches, so we should be able to move this out of the way. Okay. Oh, do we have to complete this thing, I guess? All right, so... Perfect, perfect, perfect. And what happens now? This opens. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if the top came back, I'm assuming that means we... Oh, there we go. What the heck? Yes. All right, we have to we have to um, I guess match signs. So this one goes here uh, because the lid came back into its original position. I'm assuming we're done with that cage. Okay. Oh, I see. There's a little track. Okay. We need to uh, slide it not only into its correct place but also into the track to trigger it. Okay. Go ahead and... No, oh, we have to actually do it ourselves. Cool. A metal cylinder with rings, and we can add something to it, something that goes in here. And I would bet this is probably going to be our third lever, but don't hold me to that quite yet. Let's go here. Let's solve this puzzle. All right, flask goes here. Um, 
Oh, there we go. And of course, that's where the other contraption goes, which we don't have yet. And maybe we're going to get it here. Okay, do we have anything? No. But... Okay, let's do this. Red, green, blue... I'm going to say yellow, but let's just call it white. What if we just made the point of lining up the colors? Right? And we do that. And we do this. And... Actually, let's do this real quick. Nope, come back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let me move this here. Move it like this, move it like that. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> and I saw something in there that looks mighty familiar. Okay, oh, okay, so the, the thing we saw would control, yeah, it's in here. Uh, this is the thing that we saw that would control the flow, I guess, but hold on. Esteemed Master, with great concern we have learned that you are devoting yourself to other less beneficial research. We must therefore command you, you are ordered to cease these activities unconditionally, else provide us with a satisfactory explanation. Otherwise you will only bring upon yourself our severe indignation. Cfan. Cfan? I don't know. I don't know what that signature is, but okay. Cool. A valve mechanism, and then what's this latch? It's for another. Uh, oh, hello. A weight-shaped tool. Okay, well, let's take care of this first, and then we'll deal with the weight-shaped tool. All right, and now we know that we need some time help. And what is the last position this is in before? We can fill up the flasks. So this one goes all the way back here, and this one is right here. All right, cool. So now we move this here. And, okay, so the fumes are going in. And it did say it had a pump handle, right? Right here. Let's just go ahead and pump this up, I guess. Uh-oh. I think we know what this shape is. And that is actually pretty neat. I didn't expect that we'd have to reuse items. I'm a little concerned about the fact that we are sticking our face into the fireplace, but you know what? We also have magic glasses and time time viewing technology. I'm not really going to question it too much. So let's go ahead and... Okay, this is open. Put the lighter in here. So I guess this is combustible gas. And we are going to strike that. Ooh, an ornamental head. And I think I see what's happening here. This should fit, that's the other way around, but the head should fit right in here. A lever with a square shaft. Perfect. Yep, it's the third cage. And in the meantime, let's just take a look at what this is. Oh, you guys. Okay, hold on. Before we get to the third cage, let's go back to the suit of armor. Remember I said that there was something up here so close and opposite them far away right and yeah this one's gold which means this it's probably this one right which means this one no come on this should be close and then oh there we go yeah this one looks fairly right so too close too far away there we go, and now we rotate it. And, I mean, you gotta do something, right? So let's rotate these around. 
Okay, let's classic look at it with magic glasses. There is a pattern. Here we go. Pattern, pattern, pattern. A special key. A special key that looks very similar to the special keyhole on our guy's thigh. And inside his leg is a large lens on a long shaft, but I thought I saw something. Yeah, see there's three points. And it's a large lens on a tripod. And we know exactly where that goes. I have no idea what it's for. But let's take a look. Maybe this will give us enough to... No, 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 no. Ah, ah, sorry, I'm getting lost in the controls here for a second. Okay. Alright, so this should go here. And now there was something written here, which means... Can we turn it now? We can. And... Oh, oh. Oh, I think we're about to get a light-based puzzle. That'll be cool. Okay, let's go over here. Put the third lever in and lift the third cage. This, yeah, it is a button. Okay. Then this slides open. Pick this up. A roof of the model. And is this... It is a button. Cool. Roof of the model? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, and I'm starting to see the light-based aspect of this. Because, look, there's prisms. That yeah, prism, prism. And probably something goes in here. That's something to make note of. And then we are missing one up here. One of these minarets. Okay. Take a look at this. Can we open the door? Nope, but we can slide the staircase. We need a piece that goes in there. I guess there's a staircase that slides onto there. This is a little bit like when you were a kid uh, watching cartoons and you see the, the thing outlined very, very carefully and you know that that's the thing that's going to happen. It's this, right? Everything else is built into the geometry. This is very much a moving piece. Okay. There we go, there's a staircase. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, go ahead and put this on here. Slide this down. Oh, and can we open? Yes, we can. And it is a piece of the maze. Or whatever this is. Yeah, it's maze. <laughs> um, oh, I see. There's a, oh, this part may be, it rotates or something? Okay, these all rotate, yes, yes. Let's see, can I complete the course? There we go. This isn't exactly the most difficult thing, but... Okay, that's an unpleasant noise. Oh, come here. Uh, can't move that, can't move that. Gotta solve the puzzle, sure. Oh, and it's one of these. Okay, um... Bear with me here. Let's see what we can do. I get it. Okay. Fine. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Okay. Alright, and now we pick up this, which is a scepter-like object. 
which tells me there's something to do and manipulate. Can we turn? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. We have to put this, push these down. And it's a lens on a long shaft, which I guarantee you goes not here. Here. Kind of the outline of a person, but it's really this. Okay, and now we have to rotate it just slightly. Oh, we have to just push it in slightly. I see. And we have to do it so that we hit the prism. Maybe? Let me just mess with this a little bit. Sorry, it's getting a little finicky on me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's not enough yet. There is a way. Do I? Let me just see one thing. Hold on. No, no, I don't want your hint. I feel like there's something else that's missing here. Minaret, which I can't do. Can I? No. Let's take a look at the entire thing carefully, because there are. Oh. A thing? Nope, not yet. No. Right, these items have to show up or move out somehow. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there anything on the roof here that we can manipulate? Nothing more there. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. We just weren't done yet. Okay. So, it's part of the tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Okay, let's screw this in. Now we have the tower model. We can add this up here. And there's the other prism, and they actually move out. Perfect. Oh, there we are. <laughs> uh, okay, is there an order to these? Oh, I see. There is an order to these. Okay. I'm sure if I knew the signs of, of the Zodiac, I would know, because these are probably in order, but I don't, so... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Four, five, six. One, four, five... Oh, four, five, six, one. Four, five, six, two. Four, five, six, three. There we go. There's no, I mean, unless you know the order, I don't think there's any way to do that other than to brute force it, which, you know, you can be like me and luck into it. Okay, that moves. Oh. Wait, hold on. Before I stall that, it's before I do anything else. No? No. Does this move anymore? No. Yes, yes, open this up. Just move that. That's it. Oh, it's a little... Ooh, look at that. It's a little model. A wooden handle. Sure. Yeah, there is a thing here. You can move this down. Oh, I moved the whole thing down. Okay. Strange lock mechanism, which I think I know where that goes. Architecture. 
For some, it is just a construction of stone, lime, and mortar. For me, an organism similar to all living things. I have created an ideal city for Ludovico Stro Stro uh, Sforza, as well as a remarkable bridge design that will span the mouth of the Bosporus in Constantinople and connect Europe with Asia. I have searched through the architecture of Florence in search of a place to safely conceal my greatest work. The body of Fiorenti Fiorentina Tower has proven ideal. Let's see this real quick. No, you don't let me see the tower anymore? All right, fine. So, we have this, and notice the shape, and we have this, and notice that it's a handle. So I think we go here now. I think, come here, I think the handle goes here. Yes, yes, come in. No, you're not going to let me use it right now? Okay, fine, be that way. But let's go over here. Right, because look at this shape, and this is where this goes. And is there anything? No. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, okay, so again, I sort of wandered into that one, but you just have to make sure that the colors line up on the lines. And there we are, that's the thing, and so we should be able to open the door now. Perfect. Okay. And the ball rolls along this channel. Around the room. Okay, there is a basket here, so it should drop down, pull the chain, open the door, right? Right, we're done with the <laughs> with this area? We are in fact done. Well, Master Da Vinci is being pursued. He must have passed through this room, but where did he head from here? Okay, first off, it's a tank. Second of all, we'll call it there. Uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. let me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Next time, we'll pick up right where we left off here, just looking around the room. Um, but in the meantime, if you have thoughts about the game, about the, the room we just left, or anything at all, by all means, leave a comment. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better